Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So we're going to be talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game. This will kind of be like a review video, but instead we're going to talk about everything wrong with the game. Now I want to clarify and say this is not me trying to bash the game. I'm more trying to give either feedback or criticism about what's wrong with the game so far. And I believe I played enough to really make this video. I'm overall level 88. I have over 124 hours in the game so far. And I mostly play victims and killers, so I could see it from both sides. And don't get me wrong. This game is super fun. No matter what negative things I say in this video, I'm still going to be playing this game till the nearby future, who knows for how long, but I'm loving this game so far. It's very addicting. It's very fun. But I'm not blind to the issues, and if you guys have your own issues with the game that I don't mention in the video, then drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on the game so far. Now, my first problem with the game is tutorials are basically useless. When you first get on the game and you hit play, it shows you like a little video of what you're supposed to do as either a family member or as a victim, but there's not actually a play through tutorial which I feel like they should have added because if you just get the game and you're playing with other beginners most likely they're not gonna know what to do they're gonna be very loud or noisy as a victim or as a killer they won't know how to check generator or check battery or even to lock doors behind them and that can be a major problem during matches I can't tell you how many low-level teammates I've had that just leave doors wide open instead of locking them and the survivors just run right out another issue I have which I'm sure a lot of you do is the lobby times so they did up it to five minutes and then they finally lowered it back to three minute wait time. The issue is I feel like I spend more times waiting for the match to start than I do actually playing the game. And that's because you need every single person to ready up once you're in a lobby. If you have seven people there and six are readied up, you still have to wait for that last person or you're gonna have to wait that whole three minutes. Although it's not a game breaking issue, it's just more of an annoying issue. I feel like I spend more time in lobbies than I do in the game, so that's just kind of annoying. Hopefully they make it to where major when majority readies up, then the game will start. Now let's talk about the queue times so when you search for a game as a survivor as of right now on console at least it takes forever to find a game as survivor i'd be into lobbies waiting five to ten minutes just to get a full lobby but when i queue up as killer i end up finding a game really quick so killer queues are very fast survivor queues seem to be very long this could be because they did remove pc from the crossplay. now i get they did it at, I, I supported the decision at first when they removed pc because there was a lot of hackers although i haven't even run to that many hackers hackers to begin with so I didn't I feel like they didn't really need to actually remove it but they wanted to do that to focus on the issue the problem with it is now we don't have PC in the crossplay rotation and now queue times are very long they did say it's only going to be removed temporarily but as we know that's probably going to be like months another issue I have is once you get in the higher levels and you start playing with higher level teammates they don't even care about the stealth part of the game. The moment they start, they go in the toolbox or the bone scrap and they make as much noise as possible. Waking up grandpa before the killer's cutscene is even over. That just takes the fun out of the game. Like I get it, you're a sweat now, you're a try hard, you're a high level, you know what you're doing and you wanna breeze through everything fast and speed run the game. And it takes away from the whole concept that the game is supposed to be stealth focused because now people just like to run through like they own the place and it just takes away the whole experience, you know? And it's very annoying to deal with teammates like that, especially when they die because of that in the first two seconds in an ADC. So I would say for that, the problem is speed running. People like to speed run and just get through the whole game within two seconds and not actually play. And they don't really have anything in the game to slow the pace down. Unless you have like a cook or a hitchhiker on the other team where they can actually hold the game up a little bit. But if they don't have that, then survivors can just breeze through, go to the fuse box or just go to an exit really quick and escape within the first five minutes before the killer is even done setting up. So hopefully they add something in the future that makes the game more stealth focused and they start punishing more of the noisemakers with more consequences. I did see a post on Reddit of something that they can do to slow down the people that like to just rush. Is they can make it to where whenever survivor makes a lot lot of noise then grandpa will slowly level up because of that noise so if the survivors are digging through the toolboxes or the bone scrap really fast grandpa's level will slowly go up because of that noise maybe that will encourage people to be more quiet and more stealthy like the game intended and the game is filled with a lot of bugs so currently if you go up a ladder into a hitchhiker trap then you'll be glitched for the whole game and they claim they fixed it in the last patch but it's still broken so they never fixed it the killer sissy is still bugged the same way where she hits you and you can barely move you're just 
running in place pretty much. And then we have Johnny who could just melee spam and run faster to catch up to you without losing that much stamina with the right build. And then we have Leatherface who's actually pretty decent. I love playing Leatherface but a lot of people don't like to play him because he gets bullied by survivors in the basement. That's right this game is full of bully survivors. They will mess with you. They will try to stun you with a door. Apparently they can knock out Bubba with a wooden door and they could stun lock you which means they can stun you repeatedly to where you can't even move. This has caused a lot of DCs during the game. This has caused a lot of people not wanting to play Leatherface in the matches because of that reason. And it's kind of stupid that you could just stun him with the door. I mean, come on, he's Leatherface, bro. He's, that should be the last thing you should be able to do. Like maybe, yeah, you could stun Hitchhiker or the Cook with the door because they're just regular fragile people. But Leatherface could literally punch the door down if he wanted to. So stun locking him is pretty bad, but they did say they're looking into stun resistance for him. So hopefully that'll become better in the future. And if I had to say one more thing, I wish that they came out with more maps. So they start started the game with three maps. I wish they started with at least five maps at least so we have more options. I feel like I'm playing the same map every game. Like it's either Slaughterhouse or Gas Station and then every once in a while you'll get Family House but it feels like you're just repeatedly on the same maps. But we do have a new killer and a new map coming soon. I believe in October or November we should get some new content so I'm excited for that. But let me know in the comments your thoughts on the game so far. What do you think they could do to make it a little bit better? What do you like to see? What changes would you like to see? And as always hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.